think I'm the bottom one. Yeah, that one, exactly. Bubble is back on porch. Thank you. So let me know when you are good for your reset. Great, perfect, thank you. I think there was a shrimp living in that sponge though. Look at this tiny little crinoid. It's so small. It's very small. Baby. How long do crinoids live? How old do they get? I don't know. Crinoids could live perhaps more than two, three years. <laughs> well, that's it, eh? Let's guess. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all these corals that are like thousands of years old, and then there's just like a bunch of three year old crinoids hanging out on them? I think so. Crustaceans, for instance, doesn't live more than four or five years, except for a few species. For instance, virgus, you know, uh, you know the um, coconut crab. Yeah. Those those can live a lot of years. Don't they live to like forty or something? Yeah, they wow. can. They can have even forty years. Old. That's cool. They're so big too. They're huge. Yeah, they are huge and very strong. We have a bit of time here. Gauge check finished. Roger. Let's take advantage of some time. Why don't we zoom on this uh, white coral, please? A little crinoid on it. The internet is Beautiful saying crinoid. the lifespan varies significantly between species ranging from a few years to more than 200 years. Wow. Wow. 200? Whoa. So it, what was that? Never mind. Go, go it's ahead. It's hard to like, a lot, when you, when you like look up crinoid lifespan or it, it just tells you like, you know, cause they find fossils of crinoids. So it's Thank just you. like 480 million years, but that's just like how <laughs> long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a jellyfish. Yeah, I grew up having crinoid fossils fossils in my backyard. I always thought they were oh, cool. Really? Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I lived next to a gravel pit that had uh, of Mississippian age. That's his carboniferum? Yep. So someone in the chat was saying, because um, it was the same person that was asking about the... Uh, Ooh. Volcanistic sediment or like a welded ash tuff. Um, they said, "Well, I'll tune in next dive and see, and we can see black if coral. that's in." Zoom in on the black coral, please. Indurated vol volcanistic sediment or like a welded ash tuff when you chop it open. Yeah. But it looks like others they've seen on other sea mounts. I mean, we could get some you know, potential breccias that kind of flow out and incorporate stuff below. Cool. Um, little fishy, little on fishy. The cinema can. Yeah. On the cinema can. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. <coughs> there's Patty patties. There's a bunch of um buried uh, spongy debris that looks like it, jaw bones, and it's always tripping me up. But it's spongy <laughs> yeah. debris. Whatever happened to those jaw bones? How'd they turn out? I guess they're, they're just, stored away, aren't they? Are they yeah, they're just curated? Up, they're on a, chillin they're a curating? special shell. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a pun, but I can't. But yeah, they're just chilling. They don't cut them open, eh? I don't think they do, no. Is the word special shelf? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worth a try. Rocks are. Marine snow. No. Y'all have come so close to the word. You got two hours. Watch change? No. <laughs> Loose change? <laughs> no. Spare <Ooh>. change? <laughs> no. Change room. 
<laughs> I said you've gotten so close, not you are so close. Snip and slurp. No, Ooh. but that's a good one. Maybe for future watches. Yeah, the chat cutters. asks CT or CT and MRI for the whale bones. Yeah, I'm not sure if they scan them at all. It would be cool if they did. I'm not sure if we can save them at this point. <laughs> <laughs> The best doctors in the country are on it. <laughs> what are they like? Can we do a small zoom? Just a small one. Yeah, just we a small a just wee zoom. A wee zoom. <laughs> just because I, I missed to see on a squat lobster. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is a squat watch. Because we don't Ooh. do squat. No, we squat, do squat lobsterless. Squatless. Squatless. Squat free. Nice, thank you. All right. But that's the type of coral it likes, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I love this, um, the geology of this part is full of crevice. And, um, it's always kind of weird because it looks like the lava came over on top of the sand. Zoom there, if it's possible. Yeah, stand by. Ooh, I might even be able to get a good one on this. Let's see here. I like your standing piloting technique now. Oh, my legs are killing me. Aww. <laughs> uh, go ahead and zoom, please. It's like a road trip in here. <laughs> With a lot more fine hand motor skills. Oh, There's a squatty on there. Oh, little tiny. Oh, little, little, little baby. baby. It's and hiding. a fish. It's like if road trips had like 20 times the lobsters. Are you saying road <laughs> trips? Yeah, like Thank road you, trips. Pilot. Like we're all in the car together. And, and you come with. When, what road trips do you take that have lobsters yeah, at all? Yeah, you have to have at least one lobster in order for it to be 20 times the lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to increase the count. What's that? It was to increase the count of count. <laughs> squat spot. You know what? To be zeros. fair, five my, lobs my road same trips same. do include a lobster. Well, aren't you wow. lucky? Wow. It's a stuffed lobster. Oh. oh. Well, aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky? Lives on the dashboard. I have a, a pig on my dashboard. A pig, a real one. Yes. <laughs> Look at this little bench. Yeah, this yeah. is cool. Oh. Ooh. Check this out. I wish it wasn't too dark to, like, see the, the scoop basin area. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Well, it is, it is ocean. I know. <laughs> How amazing would it be to have all this with no water for just like a day? Oh, it's yeah. just so cool. Yeah. <laughs> then I'd be out of work, but uh, yeah, it would still be cool. Well, well it's like a take day. a hike up the mountain. All right. Uh, coming down on Delta? Sure. I'm just a little nervous whoops. about this whole situation. Yeah, you should be. I'm, <laughs> um, I'm doing stuff. A little stuff that nervous. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't come too far down. I'm just all right. exploring. Roger. There's the other edge. Yep. Ooh. It's a long way down. I still yeah. can't believe there isn't much growing on this edge. All right. Yeah. It is just a bench, isn't it? There's nothing out there. So it's a weird, yeah, a weird little bench here. There's like a big sign that says ROVs park here. <laughs> Oh, there's a little pit-looking thing here. What? Okay. I'm totally putting turns on my tether, but this is so <laughs> worth it. No, you're, you're at point two wraps. It's yeah, fine. you're right. This is a Ooh, tunnel. Look at that gorge. Look at that. That's a tunnel. Is it a tunnel? That's great. Oh, I'm goodness trying gracious. To, trying to I get it on Atalanta here. Yeah, and you can come up on Delta because I'm going to come back towards oh, you for you. a sec. Crazy. Oh. Let me see if if I can only get we could go, go up the tunnel. And there goes the tilt again. Look at it that little coral thing today. that has that great um, real estate at the edge. Oh my goodness. You can come up to about 20, I think. 
I yeah. gotta look down in here just because this is really interesting. Such cool terrain. Let me get out of here before you go in, <laughs> in the hole. <laughs> I'll help you with, with Delta the, by going with down. The, with the tether. <laughs> Does that go all the way through? That goes the all the way side? through, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's cool. awesome. Wow. When you, you come wide on Atalanta, you might be able to see it. Coming wide Look. on Atalanta? Look it's that. real dark. It's real dark. <laughs> More light. I'm not okay. going to wedge myself, but I will get closer. Uh, that way you can see it. You can I see mean, it glowing the look, way through. You look a little wedgy. Oh, it's very wedgy, but can you see the light on the far side of the tunnel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that is a tunnel. That's funny. Wait, wait, wait. Let me turn my lights off. Yeah, great idea. Oh, I'm getting this as a highlight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> wow. This is so cool. And there's corals living inside there, too. They don't care. As long as there's <laughs> water flowing through, it's fine. Shrimp. And a shrimp. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. Secret tunnel. I mean, you just see how thick Secret these lava tunnel. flows no, are. Look at that. Have to go now. Now. Look how massive Secret these things Secret are. Secret it's like two Secret meters Secret high. Tunnel. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm behind, and this is... Uh, okay, I'm turning my lights back on. That was awesome, <laughs> but I need to see. Yeah, and I need to not get stuck. So. <laughs> I saw a rock above you when we were doing that, and that made me very nervous. <laughs> that sounds about right. Um, talking about the coral in the tunnel, someone once said in the chat a while ago when we found that first like hole, um, that like, uh, oh my god, I forgot how to word this. Like, uh, you know, the marine snow and stuff can like like flows through the small spaces easy, and it's easier for them to, like catch food and stuff. Something like that. It probably focuses the flow pretty good. There you go. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. I thought you said, there you go, as though I got the word of the day. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Don't worry, I have a lot of stickers, so there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of um, opportunity. These are my own stickers, by the way, not the ones that... Mom Your own had. stickers? Oh, I'm going to yeah. start saying every word <laughs> that ever existed. Bacon, breakfast, lunch, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Launch, I like how it was all food at first. What is this um, mushroom coral? Yep. Let's find out. I think so. Yes. Would you like a zoom on it? Uh, it's not necessary. Okay. See it pretty well. Let's look underneath it then. There's so many fantastic little nooks and crannies in here. Secret is, it, is it nooks and crannies? The word? Yeah. No. <laughs> I told you it's like sciency. It's like an official. I guess next time I'll pick a fun, a fun word phrase. Sciency. Hydrothermal vents. Tina four. No. no. You said it was a two-parter. It's like a two-parter, yeah. Or is it two syllables? Two-parter. Okay. Parter. And I guess in some cases it could be a three-parter, but I think of it as a two-parter. Ooh. Oh goodness gracious. I mean. Um, <laughs> two-parter. We'll, give us, we'll go two-parter. Give us another hint. Um, Please. We Please. see it often. <laughs> sea, sea, star. sea urchin? No. <laughs> no. Cup coral? No. Mm. Like, we see it often. Like, often. Rock. French fries. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a swimmy in the... There's marine some. snow. Shrimp like count? Shrimp I count. already said marine snow. Hmm. There's fish? Fish, in yeah. I don't, I don't know where it is. In Upper the left. Upper left. Oh, yeah. It's coming into frame. Cutthroat. Oh. It's going vertical. There's oh, there's, there's two. There's oh, friends. Are they the same species? Fish, fish friends. Uh, we can zoom on this one, please. Know. Yeah, there's one down below, too. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is the hangout. Is it? Is it a cutthroat? Is it a halosaur? Or is it a halosaur? Is it a halosaur? It looks like a halosaur. It's got the hal. Oh my God! Look. It's got the lizard fish it. head. So look at sweet. it do a barrel roll. Oh, oh. and the little shiny fin or uh, scales. Beautiful. It looks so majestic in cinema cam. Yeah. Oh, and there goes the oh. brittle star. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, friend. Oh, hit the rock. Okay, come wide, please. 
Um, chat's also guessing. Uh, hydrothermal vent, no. Uh, lava flow, no. I want to look something. Um, worm tube. I'm no. going to come tube worm. up a bit, mm -hmm. just for a sec here, and see what we're looking at over here. Roger, matching you on Delta. Bamboo coral. No. Node. Nodal branching. No, but that's a good one. Internodal branching. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a good one. Could you imagine if it was that? I'd be so angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Internodal branching. <laughs> and you'd had every right. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing for you is I don't even know that term, so. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. <laughs> it's a two part. It sounds right. All right, this is up off the ridge. So I think I'm going to go back down towards the ridge. Rock nugget. Nope. Another, uh, another fish. Down there. Oh, so do you want me to Back take my dodge will keep, keep my heading is good. Uh, no. You could go a little bit more uh, east. Manganese cross. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Manganese, nugget. Manganese, manganese nugget. Oh my God, you're Altered so rock. Barrel manganese encrusted. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. oh. It, it's just the, you're, you're manganese, crusted. manganese encrusted rock. 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 Encrusted rock
Umbrella. Yeah. Is that a Norella grimnoid? It seems so. All righty. All According the branching <laughs> pattern. I tried to say all righty and said all righty. <laughs> Man. Almost bedtime. <laughs> We got a while left, y'all. What's in this micro cave? Can you zoom on the micro cave? Yeah, micro cave. Micro cave. Oh! What's in the micro cave? A little secret an surprise. Urchin? Ooh. Ooh. Looks like an urchin. Yeah. Ooh, it's one of it's the big spiny. Yeah. Cool. I haven't seen one of those recently. Yeah. We saw one in, in Sandy Bottom. It's okay, thank you, Dave. Um, probably Genus Plesio Diadema. Oh, okay, this one. <coughs> the yeah. long spine, deep sea. Yeah. Ocean. What's a microwave? Oh, micro cave urchin. <laughs> Did I say microwave? No, microwave no. urchin. <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> There's like a big Bad old schmear go. in the Herc uh, sonar. Herc sandbar? Oh, that is a Never squatty mind, it's gone. body here. Didn't know what that was. Oh, sonar, sorry. Yeah, squats. You saw squatty? Oh, do you want to yeah. zoom on it? Yeah, please. Yeah, go ahead, Dave. Is this a sample one or a non-sample one? Oh. Non-sample one. It's common species. Typical. Generalist. High living on hydroids, but cool. Great, thank you. Thanks. Look at the shape of that rock on the left in cinema cam. Looks very funny. Hmm. Looks like a couch cushion. A what cushion? Couch. Fish. Big, yeah, look at big that. fish. Just chilling. Can do a fish zoom, please? Oh. What is this fish? Cuskeel? Oh, is it? Slow. That's the slowest bonk of all time. <laughs> Don't cuskeels have like a rounder yep. forehead? That's true. Well, they have that funky head, looks like a butt's bone or something. Is there like a little copepod on its eye or something? Yeah, there it is. Oh, maybe, the yeah. de de topa topama. What? <laughs> Very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> oh, the way that, I don't know, dorsal Not fin or whatever you call it flows is incredible. Family bithide. Is it an eel? Or it's eel like, so eel -like. it's not a true eel? Alright, thank you. Feel Dave. eel like. Run away till down that time. I haven't seen that recently. It's been doing a lot of running away. I'm considering Drop cycling it. it. Yeah, go for it. It doesn't hurt it. Roger. Cycle it as many times as you want. We'll do a little cycle. Interesting. I haven't come across one of those before. <coughs> it looked like it was taking a nap. So what do these eel-like fish eat? Because we're seeing such a high abundance of them. If they're around, then their food must be around more so than the other places we've explored. I would say they eat squat lobsters. Keep oh. going. And shrimp. Oh. And shrimp. And other, okay. other crustaceans living on the rocks and, and the sand. Yeah, squad lobster are the main source of food of, of some fishes. Someone in the chat saying umbelulas uh, named after the shape being like an umbel. Shrimp. Which is a branching pattern that is most commonly exemplified in flowers. 
of the parslet family. Oh, yeah. Can I zoom in here, please? Or carrots. Humble. Apalula. No squatties there hey, or friend. there. I think they're meant to say a parsley family okay. there. Okay. Parsley Thank you, David. Same thing. <laughs> There's just so many big words. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's why I was confused by carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these little crinoids sitting on the edge. Living on the edge. Living, Living on, on the edge. edge. Is it the edge? Is I know it like that completely? Song. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the edge of the wall. Ooh. All right. Ooh, I'm deltaing up. Cool. <laughs> Annabelle, I can't tell if your ooze are ooze of terror or ooze of like mesmerization. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. A little bit of both. Yeah. Get out of there. What is happening with all this tangulation? <laughs> <laughs> is that the word? <laughs> Apparently. Intagulation. That's when the word's done and over with tonight. Tomorrow, there'll be a new word. Coming back ready to win again. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you guys were guessing. It's more fun if you just <laughs> say it naturally. Well, that's true. But y'all too competitive. Were we really going to say ferromanganese crest? Uh, the other watches said it. Oh, oh, the other watches beautiful. did it. Is there a squatty squat? on there? Yeah. There's a squatty on there. Zoom in, please. Tiny one. Do you oh. want me to try to sample it? Uh, It'll be unlikely, but I can try. It's difficult, so okay. let's... Okay, come wide. Yeah, there's a blind lobster behind it, it's too. There's a blind, blind lobster. And a brittle. Oh, never mind. It fell on the shelf. Okay. Uh, can I get bubble cam on the uh, suction jar? Su no, what's it called? What? Suction hose, please. Uh, I'm not going to use the minute for this. Oh, that's a great Ooh, shot in cinema okay. cam. Like thick, this? thick Is lava that flows. Yeah, it's great. And you can zoom in a bit on it on the that's bubble gorgeous. cam, please. Ooh. Well, that's a great. Ooh. And video, please zoom in on Herxus. So, are you thinking? Yeah, good them? there. Thank you. And then bubble cam tip it outboard, please. One sec, I need to delta up. Yeah, roger that. Zoom out, you said? Tilt it left. Uh, I'd like to see the nozzle tip. Suction jar number six, please. Like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come back. On number come two? Back. Number six, please. Number six, OK. Uh, no. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, great. Roger. Kay. Okay. Uh, Can you zoom in more, please, Dave? Good there. Come on, let go. Ah. Mm, did not want to let go there. I'll try one more time and then I gotta run. Ooh, ooh. There oh, come yeah. on, come on. Yes. yes. All right, pull wide, please. <laughs> As the blind thing oh. goes on. You're the crowd goes wild. <laughs> you guys are amazing doing this. All right. Um, you can secure the slurp and rotate to flush. Slurp secure. Number 89 now. Come on, Jar. Thanks. I'm going to do this myself because you're doing other things. Jar is. Jar is not moving. Try the other way. Oh, there we go. There nice. We go. All right. Delta looks good. I Roger. got downlight. Oh, nice teamwork there. Woo. Yeah. Now, was that a Europe Tychus? Uh, yeah. I heard it. Yeah. In uh, <laughs> Chrysogorium. Yep. All right. 
Uh, the carrot fact person in chat said, well, I don't think you would have been as familiar with the name of the plant family Apiaceae. You're correct. I wouldn't. <laughs> Um, someone asked, what was on the rock above to the right? And I think they were referring to the blind lobster. Yeah, it's a um, blind lobster. Uh, the family is Polychelidae. Forgot to flush. flush. And they are relatives of the lobsters we eat. There are around 40 species in the deep sea. But I think there should be more to describe. Mm -hmm. Some of them live in burrows. Some of them live in in sub pattern and some of them lives on, on rocks. Every time I've seen them, they've been in sand, like more yeah. sandy yeah, areas, that so was it weird that it was on oh. the... I'm pretty cliff? sure that there are a specialization for different species living on burrows or sand bottoms and rocky bottoms, so rocky I guess bottoms. this is a different species that we, that the other, the other we, we can see in the sand. Mm -hmm. Unless he was just cool taking a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah unfortunately, unfortunately, we are kind of getting to get into its end. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming when we get to its end, it's gonna we're gonna want to pivot and uh, move up slope. I think that's what was, the plan is. Is that right? That's the plan. All right. Oh yeah, the tilt's behaving a lot better now. Perfect. Oh, that I shouldn't have said anything. You jinxed it. I jinxed it. <laughs> Oh. It's uh, the problems are in the code, not in the camera itself. So oh, that's fun. Yeah, it's not really a good way to deal with that aside from writing the f uh, bug fix, which is in the works but not deployed yet. All right, flushing is done. Switch these back. Oh, yes, I am. Wait. I see. One moment. Another fish. Where? Down in the sand there. To the oh, right of the screen. Oh, yeah. Going into its own micro cave. Uh, coming up. Got a little bit of clippiness. Yeah, okay. Mm. Thank you. Sounds good. Luckily, it is off to start your starboard side. We're going parallel to it, but that's fine. Let's keep it out of the danger circle. That sounds, sounds good to me. <coughs> Chat mm, fact no. says those blind lobsters are ambush predators and have long claws. They shoot out to snatch Whoa. the prey. Look at all the crinoids on this lip. Count is yeah. five zero meters. Same thing. This, the the crinoids okay. are really these yellow crinoids are really like taking over this, yeah. this whole. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna come up off this area. lip and maybe a little bit more up slope. Roger. Ideally, for all this, we would have had Atalanta a little more off the cliff, but. I guessed wrong, so sort of it's fine. Hanging right over the edge. Yeah. I'm going to step off a little bit and just take a broader look. Roger, coming up on Delta. Just looking around. Haven't done that recently. What have we got over here? Yeah, just more. Is this this isn't quite talus, is it? This is more the middle between talus and sheet flow. Yeah, I think it's mostly sheet flow that you're seeing that's kind of draped over everything. I mean, there are chunks of rocks here and there, but I think it's mostly uh, sheet flow. Annabelle or Dave, could one of you two adjust the mini zoo iris so it's not between two set points, please? <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. This is where the action is, over here for sure. 
Is that a nose? Would you call that a nose, Rob? It's a nose. The nose knows. I nose knows. Do you nose noses? I knows. A nose of <laughs> I don't nose. But it's nice I can see there's that nose is a very thick flow. And then you see the, the thinner flow on top of it. It's like the last bit of flow that came out. Rob, every say? time you talk about thick flow, I think of that juice. <laughs> 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 Would you say it's got a runny nose? Oh. Uh. <laughs> so is each one of these layers a separate slide, a separate uh, uh, flow? Probably separate lava flows, but they're probably happening almost, you know, right after another. Oh, okay. Within a, within a day or two kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, it could cool. be fairly continuous. I mean, sometimes they say these seamounts take anywhere from 10,000 to a half million delta years. Down, delta down, Roger. Thank you. Ch chat fact, uh, they said, yeah, actually in places like this where the crinoids congregate on the edges of ferromanganese crust, this chat person would have won, uh, <laughs> will actually get polished and smooth from them hanging along the ridge sections. If anyone think that, thinks that's true. I think I've seen the polished smooth stuff, and I was never sure if it was like crinoid we activity or really if it was uh, yeah, chunky cliff. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, we had that on our, our last cruise, a discussion about that. <coughs> yeah, I almost thought it was like a concentrated flow yeah. going over that, but I don't know. I don't know anything. Oh, you you want to hit that one rock and watch it fall, don't oh, you? Oh, absolutely, 100% oh. I do. Uh, Too bad we don't have a stick. Uh, You mean this big one? Yeah, it's, that it's, one. It's too that's, attached. That's the one you want to hit. <laughs> How as much fun okay. would that be? As per Get an eye on request. that with uh, the Atalanta cam. I don't think we'll get anything out of it. Oh, where is the Atalanta cam? Oh, I see it. No. Oh. Oh, not this is why we power. line the porch with rubber. <laughs> <laughs> the bumper bar is also lined with rubber. Another one of those red... Crinoid. Oh wait, were you saying you were talking about the polishing? On yeah, we saw that. I don't a rock on our last cruise, and we we're all discussing different I ideas of why it was like that. Was it polished looking? Yeah, it was surprisingly polished. Were there a lot of crinoids in the area? Well, there's nothing there at the time, but you know, we oh. thought it something could have been there. I mean, they have a lifespan of what, two years? That's it said a few yeah. to 200. <laughs> you can switch <laughs> to USB. Yeah. Yeah. So like very right varied. now, four beams, but watch in uh, 10 seconds. Yeah, I saw it was. I saw it was zero? Yeah. yeah. Or three, or the cliff. It doesn't like There's the cliff the at all. There's the thing I'm about to slam into. Yeah, we just uh, yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Do you call this a talus float, Rob, or is it not fragmented enough? Ooh, is this a squat lobster? Yes. Uh, squat lobster. Yeah. That's a common one? Or is this yes, a exactly. Ooh, I'm Ooh. getting better at this. Let's cinema cam this one. Whoop. Oh, you Not like that, I won't. It. <laughs> Hello, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a fish off this of the distance in cinema cam, too. These are all found in these uh, hydroids. That's interesting. There you go. There's your cinema cam, Squat Lobster. All right, oh. bye. Oops. Oh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> off into the abyss. <laughs> Squirt right off the cliff. <laughs> is there a fishy? There yep. is a fishy. All right. There's a couple fishies, I think. Yeah. Coming There's up on bones. Oh, my God. No Halosaur. fish everywhere. Other, probably Halosaur. Do you think they all know each other? Is this Halasaur Town Mountain? This might, well, this might be Halasaur Town... Ice Cream Scoop? Scoop Cliff. Halasaur Town Scoop Cliff. Halasaur Town Scoop Cliff. I like that. Don't run away, mini Zeus. <laughs> the struggle.
chat fact friend continued its chat fact with the current will polish the edges too but i've seen it in spaces where it wasn't as much current flow on it and it was just the top edges that were polished and it lined up with them just perfectly chat's seen a lot apparently chat's seen it all Would you say that this is the most interesting dive of this expedition? You look in in terms of the geology of the Oh yeah, for, for me it is. I mean, being able to see those thick lava flows and the pillows on top gives you a better sense of uh, what's more, underneath yeah. when you just look at the top. Maybe two, we'll see. We'll okay. see what science wants to do. Okay, sounds good. Going now. Let's go slightly more east, please. 20 degrees more east. Well, yeah. I would say that this seamount is poorly diverse on black yes, corals. Step five zero degrees. In comparison one with one other five. that we have samples. Again, one one five degrees. Five zero meters being in one one five degrees. Another fish dead ahead, just below the. Roger. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, is that a, what happened there? Hello, Tether? It was just a really big weather hit and I'm really far out ahead. Okay, Roger. So yeah, you, you are stretched fish. out there. Yeah, I wanted to look at the fish, but I just don't think I can. I mean, I, could, I could try and give you some more. Trip. No, it's fine. Okay. With that heave, let's not. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, Waiting, I'll just look around over here. Do another tilt reset, see if it helps. Sure. <coughs> what we could do is after recovering, we could restart the software. Maybe just have some built up something, something. I don't know. Computer dirt. Computer dirt, yeah. Bit decay. Can we zoom in this crinoid pile, please? <laughs> crinoid pile. Is that a paragorgia underneath there? Hemicorallium? Hemicorallium. Oh! I still can't tell the difference. What are you seeing that makes it a hemicorallium? The hemicorallium, the paragorgia has the um, robust axis, right? Yeah. Okay. And um, more red color. Okay. Thank you. So it has Come that wide, white, white face on it, and that's how you can tell. It's more so a difference in the hue of pink. Paragorgia is looks like. Um, Hubba Bubba Bubblegum, have Hubba you ever had? Bubble <laughs> <laughs> it looks more so like that. Closer to a, on the spectrum to a hot pink. And it's more knobbly. Interesting. Roger that. But like Trevor was saying this morning, it would be cool to see the two of them next to each other. Oh, so. it would be so great, yeah. I can't yeah. remember that long. Let me see if I can figure this one out. Really big sea pens today. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Can we do a zoom on this one, please? Is that a squat there, too? Paragorgia, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm gonna say hemicorallium. Oh, that is a cup coral. Is that a cup coral? Yeah. I feel like we've seen them a lot hanging out under bigger corals. Is that like a thing? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Beautiful shot. What one was that? Hemicorallium. 
Ah. It had such a nice Ooh, shape to it. Cucumber. cucumber. What is this? Uh, strings. Is this a holothurian? Can you zoom on the holothurian, please? Yeah, it is a holothurian. Oh, okay. Is it's that just a lump. What is a holothurian? The holothurian is a sea cucumber. A sea cucumber, okay. Also a kind of them. Yeah. I knew I knew the term sea cucumber. I didn't know what it's. The holothurian is like the scientific yeah, the term scientific for name. the the whole class. Mm -hmm. That coral looks like a kid drew a crayon on the wall. <laughs> a lot of the corals kind of do. <laughs> Big ol' scribble coral. So, we're a little off the edge now. I can kind of go back towards it for a sec here, but we're not uh, really on it anymore. And we're also coming up kind of to the tip of this ice cream scoop part. Yeah. So what would you like to do there? Let's go a little bit past it. Okay. okay. Keep working towards uh, end of watch change for turning around and coming yeah. up. Yeah. So. Sounds good. Can we get a uh, move? Gauge check? Oh, nice. <laughs> Beat me to it. Can we get a move? Um, let's see here. Uh, zero nine zero, the next one, please. Okay. Uh, after this one. Okay. Due east. Due east. Zero nine zero, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Also, this is the hemichorellium up above, but it's also easier to tell them apart when there's some current because bubble gums are more flexible and they'll wave in the current a bit, mm, cool. whereas hemichoralliums are very rigid. Right, right. Cool. This is fine. Okay. I plan on going off the edge again. Okay. So. So. so I guess the current is increasing um, in this side because of the particles are moving faster or? Yeah, it's a good point. I'm going dead stick here. Let's see what happens to the vehicle. It's more than it was when I said, wow, there's no current anymore. Okay. But yes. it's way less than it was when we started this watch. I mean, it's in the opposite direction, isn't it? It is. It's coming up the slope here. Yeah. Which is interesting because the, the long corals are facing towards... Trip. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Would they be facing into the current or with the current? All right, I'm going to move now. To shrimp. To shrimp. Hello, bye-bye. I think they'd be, you know, down, downstream of the current. Because they're facing towards the ice cream scoop. Yeah. So the current's going from the left to right here. Can we spend five zero meters during nine zero degrees? Point two knots. Roger, thanks. I love these colonies. Mm -hmm. so we can zoom in the colony, please. Yeah. Lots of those little stars, eh? All right, thank you. Gate check finished. All right. I'm 
just an update for everybody watching. Um, we're currently at a depth of uh, 1,412 meters. We came from 2,000 meters and we were following uh, a ridge upslope where um, we think a landslide kind of created this ice cream scoop shape. The, the total depth or the, the peak of the seamount is at uh, 1,300 meters. We have an hour left of our watch, and I still want to see an octopus. Anybody have their octopus calls ready? How do you call an octopus? Yeah, Annabelle demonstrate. Obviously. <laughs> On a phone? Yeah, octopus phone. Ha ha ha. I don't know, what, what, what noise would an octopus make? Did they make noise? They're I don't know. silent. Silent. Stealthy. So our octopus call would just be silence. <laughs> well, then I'm, well, I guess we haven't been calling it the whole time. The quietest watch gets to see the octopus. <laughs> I, I only know one animal call. What? It's the uh, mute swan. You want to hear it? Yes. You want to hear it again? <laughs> but they do make a noise. <laughs> Not the mute ones. Apparently octopuses can whistle by forcing water through their siphon, producing high frequency sounds for long distance communication. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to do everyone a favor and not whistle into the mic. <laughs> yeah, that's Much appreciated. That's good. Shrimp. Shrimp. Have a shrimp. Shrimp count. Look at swimming in the water column. I assume we're pretty high. Yeah. You know, Karen's really good at whistling. Yeah. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Just listen for what sounds like Snow White on the boat, and it's Karen whistling. Wow. What do we got going on here? Can you zoom in, please? Is this purple on yellow or yellow on purple? Yes. Yellow on purple. <laughs> Where do you see purple? Well, not purple, but it's pink. 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 It's pinkish. Words are, words are tough for me. That's definitely maybe a Paragorgia. Hemicorellium. One of the two. Hedge in his bets. Hemicorellium. All right. Oh, fish. Oh, fish. That's the storm. Oh, it wasn't like a fish we've seen before, though. Lots of fish on this dive. Yeah, people in the chat were saying that the, all the halosaurs were kind of strange because we haven't seen them earlier in the dive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chat thinks that an octopus must sound like a high-pitched balloon deflating. <laughs> <laughs> can we spot this, please? We can. There's a squat lobster on that tall thing, I think. There oh is. my yeah, there is. I think this is the escapist species. <laughs> Let's look at this one <laughs> here first. Yeah, here we go. You want it? I want it, but wide, uh, I don't know if, we, if that is we possible. Got, we got time. Full wide video. One moment, adjusting delta. Sure. What jar can we put this in? Two. You can put it in. Yep, sure. Two. The poor brittle star. Uh, changing falling. out the camera. Hi, oh, brittle you. star. <laughs> Turning on down light. And give me that uh, bubble on craft. I don't need bubble on craft. I'll just do the rotate, yeah. Do you want bubble and craft? No, that's fine. Thank you. You don't need it. Oh, 
There goes another brittle storm. How much suck? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me... Yep, they're leaving for work. Mm -hmm. Decided not to take the elevator. They remind me of um the fainting goats that like get stiff and <laughs> oh, faint yeah. when they're scared. Yeah, they just that's fall that's off. right. <laughs> okay, zoom in. There's please. another one. Yeah. How is and let's go get there. Power? Let's go How is there seventy percent. Why not? Let's see I'm what happens. Write it. Seventy percent suck. Oh. He's feeling it. Oh. Oh. It. Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, he's like, help me, help me. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> bump him in. Can there you, like, is. boop his butt with the coral to, like, move yeah. out of it? I should do it on. No! No! <laughs> that oh, actually oh, helped! Oh, okay, cool. Oh. Oh. oh, goodness gracious, this is a. <laughs> Look at its tail. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Whoa. Oh no, its legs are too long. Should okay, um, you can leave it there for a sec. Um, come wide, please. <laughs> hmm. You weren't kidding. These are crafty. <laughs> Paul is dying back here. <laughs> there we go. There it goes. Oh, we got it. Yeah. And it goes. Oh, oh, got it. It. oh, it's in the. Oh my God, it's so big compared to the other Zero ones we got. Look sec. at it. Thank you so much. They're putting the jars back. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't no, have any room for uh, its legs. And a chunk of coral, too. So. Yeah. That's great. Okay. That was a big lobster. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Yes. I gotta move. This <laughs> <laughs> so was the third time trying to get in this species. <laughs> what about the top one here? Yeah, that's good, Chwani. Uh, I should go. Sorry. No no. no, no, no. Sorry. All right. Paul is squatified. <laughs> Satisfied. Squatified. Keep moving due east. I think, uh, let me assess. Uh, that is the mountain Yeah, uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, due east is good. Thank you. Please, no. Uh, are we ready for flushing? Already done. Roger. Taking the camera off the buckets. Thank you. Can we step another five zero meters? Same, same. Thanks. I got spooked by the tether again. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say something amazing about this cruise so far has been a very small amount for me personally none seeing no garbage on the uh, sea floor. Yeah. I know the other shifts I think I've seen a couple things here and there. Well, but I don't think we've seen any. We, we saw one can. Yeah. Did we see one can? We we didn't see it. I don't think we don't know. Other watch did. Other watch. Which brings how, up how often is um, garbage spotted in uh, at least once a dive on average. What? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, d it depends greatly on where you are in the world. I was okay. going to say, which brings a good point. Um, Rob, you piece? were saying earlier we were gonna wondering if we were going to see any fishing, yeah. lost fishing equipment, but I don't think we have. Can you zoom in, please, Dave? So we got a little thing living on there. What is that thing? Is it, oh, is it just a crinoid? Just bottom left there. Uh, yeah, it's more crinoid. Okay, bottom. thank you. Um, Justin Delta? Sure. Yeah, I feel like I see garbage on most dives in most places of the world, unfortunately. Do you think this is um, because of the marine protected area, the marine? National Monument. Well, the one can we did see was in the monument. Uh, yeah, so. and they can come from wherever. I'm, I'm honestly, I have no idea. I just, I don't know what does what out here. But. Does it have to do with ocean currents? Probably, yeah. 
That's a good theory. When we get that uh, human to can translator, we could ask. <laughs> <laughs> for a sec here. Oh, oh right off the cliff. Oh. So there's another bench down there. I'm not going to go. It's a little too far, but it's interesting to see. And then it drops away again into oblivion. What causes those little benches? It's just little faults that drop off. I mean, when you have an unstable slope, these things just kind of break away periodically. OK. This is big chunks, I guess. Yeah. I was going to say uh, uh, people donate money and uh, get a bench, put it in place. Uh. <laughs> it was funnier in my head. <laughs> <laughs> we do the next step, uh, uh, 060, please? Yeah, just get us off the wall. Just keep, keep underestimating it, so. Look at the cinema cam there. Yeah. Weird. It's like a telephone cord. It's such a cool perspective being low. I was a doubter, I'll be honest. I wasn't a big fan of it at the start of the cruise. And after seeing how it looks, good it looks, it's really amazing. It's really good for tiny things that right. sometimes yeah. you cannot see in the in the other view. It's it is very very risky to the equipment, but it also makes really good shots. So. I mean, so is diving in ROV. It's risky to the equipment, so you gotta take some risks to have the, these kinds of samples and shots and everything. I'm with you. I, I was also not a fan, but uh, it's really interesting stuff. It's were you really guys saying you're not a fan like when you first saw it and you were looking at it and you were like, ooh, but now you when were I like, When I saw hey. it on the, on the ship, oh, yeah, okay. they were like, put this here. I'm like, ooh, that sucks. Yeah, we were just not excited about tacking yet another thing on, you know. Yeah, the, what's this thing? The, not an optimal uh, position kind of thing. Yeah, and it does and look really good. Let's do on this thing, please. Tim was showing me some of the uh, sort of oh, Venus flytrap. No, the Venus flytrap? Yeah, anemone. Oh. It looks like um, Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me Seymour? Mm hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> is it, what is that, like, thing sticking yeah, out? What's the dinker? That's the part of the uh, uh, stock. Of oh, so it's oh, kind of whoa. piercing through? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's wrapped itself around it. All right, thank you. Tim was going through showing me some of the stills from the uh, cinema cam, and they're actually quite nice. Cool. Yeah. It's really good for like landscape. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And like coral garden shots. The Zeus Plus, the main camera, is incredible, and it's also 20 years old. So wow. Over 20 years old. So, oh, anyway, something like that. So. Uh, 2005. 2005 is okay, so nearly coming 20 up. Years. Almost, uh, almost 20 years. Chat that I guess has been watching for over four hours has said they would have missed the large Dumbo octopus without the cinema cam. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, a big fish, upper right. Let's go have a look, see. Yeah, I would have missed that weird um, jellyfish without the cinema cam. Oh, bonk. The fish doesn't like it. They bonk all the time, don't they? Fishy bonk. Because they can't see very Zoom in, well. please. Oh, never mind. Not Bye. happy. Not happy fish. Oh, bonk. This fish learns what a laser is. <laughs> um, chat saying, I really hope there will be a way to see the cinema footage in full quality 
and in the stereo 3D view it can offer. Hopefully they will release it and I can check it out in VR. Well, we're not doing 3D anymore. That was uh, for the first dive as an experiment. We were at the beginning, yeah. Later on this yeah. season. Um, yeah. And actually the cameras weren't placed in a 3D uh, mode or at least one that would result in 3D. They were not aimed right. I've sailed with a 3D camera on another ROV before, so the alignment part of it is interesting. But uh, later this season, we're going to be doing some more advanced energy stuff. Do you know which expedition? Six zero degrees. Uh, off the top of my head, no. Yeah, thank you. But there is an expedition called Advanced Imaging for Science or something like that. I can tell you exactly when that's happening. NA-156, maybe. Oh, there's something. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's a sponge or a fish in the cinema cam, something white and glowing. Let's find out. Oh, what is it? Squid? What? I don't oh, know. It better be a swimming. Oh, look oh, at it. It better be a swimming. That's oh a double octopus. It's a, it's a dumbo. Is we it? hit the trifecta. Oh. That's the third dumbo. Third dumbo. 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 Let's see how long, <laughs> see how long we can follow it. Are, are you talking to me? <laughs> oh, look at it go. Oh. Cute. It's beautiful flap flaps. It makes me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Those are some big flaps. I thought they were a lot smaller. That's so precious. Uh -huh. And look in the cinema cam. Can you I get can some see delta, please? I very Roger, well. get me yeah. some delta. Wow. I was enchanted by the little octopus. <laughs> so this is a, a different uh, one than what they saw earlier. Those are great lava flows. You can do zooms <laughs> if you want there, Dave, whatever you think. <laughs> <laughs> I like having Rob on our watch. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yes. It's still yes. early. Oh. It's great. <laughs> 15 centimeter Dumbo lights. octopus. 18 centimeter, you think? 15. Oh, 15. Yeah. Oh, that's so look great. At the lasers. And it has an ombre. Ombre octopus. Or a gradient. Chat, don't come at us. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Looks like it's been in battle. It's yeah. Missing some yeah. Legs. Been in so battle. Imagine that cute little thing in battle. I've been wrong a lot in my life, but I think this is not a Dumbo. I think this is one of those squids that look like the Dumbo. Yeah, I think you're right. Really? Oh. Whoa. Oh. Well, there oh, is. It, it bonked. There is, <laughs> the, the, what, the vampire squid? Vampire squid? I think that's a, yeah. The that's vampire oh. squid isn't actually a squid, but it, it's still a cephalopod. <sighs> it's so cute. Can I get a little more delta down, please? Roger, getting like you some delta. Do we have a highlight on this Dumbo? Um, I did put a highlight. I don't know if the two minute ran out. You can put another That's one. So if you want. cool! Look at that. Look at the cinema it cam looks view. Like it's a like a, a judgy rhinoceros. Look at you know. <laughs> what is the name of that little stuff thingy that you have? It looks like that. Oh oh my gooky jub jub! It looks like a gooky jub jub. <laughs> it does what? look like gooky jub jub. Why is it doing that? This is so beautiful. I think it. Might it's be scared. Defensive it, posture. Yeah, it bonked yeah. the uh, the coral. Yeah, no. Oh. It's got it tentacled up. Oh, it looks tired from this angle. Put them dukes up. That's <laughs> so cute. Oh, look at the oh. inside of it, the underside of it. Look at, look at the, the view. Yeah. Feel the Stunning. Uh oh. Find a place to hide, buddy. Coming in for another bonk. He's saying this is too much light. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> now it looks angry. Well, should we leave this this little rascal be? So, oh. <laughs> well, I don't. I, we oh, can stay here. <laughs> it's up to you, folks. <laughs> uh, we we have time. Okay. Well. Poke it with stay. a stick. <laughs> oh. But he said, "I'm oh. done." Stephanie, how do you feel? What? How do you feel? Um, my eyes started watering 
Uh, and now they sting because of my makeup, so. Oh. Tears I feel of great. happiness. Yeah, I mean, it's just cool. <laughs> Emotions are high, folks. Yeah. I mean, does anyone else feel it? I might cry. Oh, okay, it. thank you, Annabelle. We are the same person almost, so. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, oh, it's paused. Oh, no. It's paused. <laughs> oh, it's face planting. It's not having a great time right now. No. I don't think so, no. We're catching its most embarrassing moments <laughs> and sharing it with the entire it. world. <laughs> Look at its sad little face. <laughs> um, do they have suckers yes. on their tentacles? Yeah. Is it tentacles or arms? An octopus person yelled at me once for I think it's arms. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful shot. Look at the weird ripply thing. I'm going to put another highlight just in case. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Look, look at the view on the, on the cinema cam. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. It's so cool. This may be a record for me as far as time on camera. <laughs> I had one last season that we followed around for quite a while. but. Uh, well, this one's struggling now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's deflating. Happy. It's Ooh. not very happy. I, think, I think we can move on now. Yeah, right. we'll leave him alone. All right. It's jiggling anxiously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Dumbo. <laughs> oh. We have about 100 photos of that Dumbo. <laughs> we also have a really big fish I was coming <laughs> in. in a lot. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Really big, <laughs> yeah, really big fish at the top right. Coming straight is. for the Dumbo. Well, that's Dumbo, a look out! That's oh my god, are we gonna watch a big fish? It's a wow. big, big fish. Is that a? That's Come a big of the grenadier ones. Oh, I was going to say. No, or is that the, the, that's like a, the one with the. A ratfish. A rat stuff on its face, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's we, a good call. Are we able to zoom? Yeah, possible? we are. Whoa. Wow. What an amazing dive. Oh, wow, look at its eye. Look at that lateral line. Look at that's the eye. That's a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think. That fish and the Dumbo would not get along, or do you think they don't care about each other? Like, that was a serious question. I hope they don't care about each other. And they could just live peacefully apart in the darkness. We got another little fishy, uh, Oh, just yeah. above it in <laughs> the above cinema it. cam. Cinema cam's great shot of these fish. Yeah, there's another one just above it, too. Let's see if I can find that one just above it. Mm. Probably not, and it probably have to go, yeah. but let's take a look. It's, it's a small way. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's going the wrong way. Okay. Cool. That rat tail did not care. <laughs> not that no. bad to finish the watch, huh? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I gotta come. There's another one of the fish. fish. I'm oh. pulling it for you a know, second. I should look at what the chat was saying during all that. Uh, should I delta up? You should do it. No, you can stay there for now. Um, so it's like under 10, though. Oh, yeah, Could it have seven. been a Camaro? Yeah, give me a sec to give you some okay. slack. Yeah, that's what it was, Chimera. Oh, I guessed it right. Oh, nice. Chimera and Ratfish are the same, right? Yeah. Sorry, Chad, I wasn't looking at you because I was too mesmerized. <sighs> Just, there we go. Getting back in the box, here we go. So do you want to keep going 60? Uh, no, you can go 98. 99. Yeah. Right. Reach now. <laughs> oh, chat said it's okay for me to cry. Thank you, chat. <laughs> can we step on the 50 meters during 90 degrees? Roger, thank you. I'm gonna write all these down. 
Yeah, when you're ready to make your next jump after this, we can probably start heading toward the final waypoint. Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. I want to give them plenty of time. It's only going to be three hours up there, so. I'm going to go down a bit here, Annabelle. Yep. Roger. Delta down. Got our little nose poking out on the sonar. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 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 Ooh what? Never know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I see something cool, or that's really cute, or that's really scary, or like... <laughs> or like uh, that was a good joke. <laughs> that was, it, could be, it could be anything. I have no idea how to read that. <laughs> we'll know Very once funny. we get that human to Annabelle translator. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of the neurons firing in my brain. <laughs> That's a good answer. I Neuron like that answer. Sound. Neuron or neurons? Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we zoom here, please? Are these squatties or are these just little stars? They look like stars in the cinema. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we and got a cucumber? cucumbulator. A cucumbulator. <laughs> Coming down on Delta, but getting a little closer to that cliff every yeah, time. Yeah, no problem. Take your time on the cliff and take your time on the tether, too. Roger. This is not so bad right now. Um, this happened a long time ago, but the uh, ocean exploration through advanced imaging, we were talking about uh, October 22nd through November 5th, uh, NA-156. You think? I'll be here. You'll be here? Yep. I won't. Let me Sorry. pull this down. We can have a pretty big delta right now. I'm going to pull the tether down a bit. It's a cool rock that fell away. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Fall all the rest of the way. I mean, that's exactly how the benches happen, but on a, a larger scale. Okay, right. We just have a little opportunity to go down here a bit oh, now that we've cool. pulled that off. Are we? Off, so oh. Alrighty, there Looks we go. Pick those flows on. Do you want more delta? Um, let me pull it down a bit first, and then okay. you can spin back. You, you can just pull me there. Um. Yeah. It was just getting all floaty up in there. Roger. Okay, you can uh, come down now. Thanks. Look right. at the... Coming down after you. The sea lily is facing upward. Look, this tiny one. Oh, I see a squat. Where? No, it's um this one. Yeah, isn't it's that a squat? It's um, a furoid. Oh no, it's a falling. brittle star falling. Oh, Sorry, don't. I thought it was the squat. That's going to be a long fall, buddy. Hey, don't do it. Don't. Oh, you have too much good. to live for. I thought it was a squat with its hands oh, in the air. Tumbling. Fish. Oh, tumbling. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I wonder if that would take generations to get back up. <laughs> <Yeah. same. laughs> oh yeah, because they can't really swim. They just kind of crawl, right? You got some rock climbing uh, <laughs> sea stars, brittle stars. Yeah. I think they are disturbed by the mo the movement of the water. They f kind of sense or something is approaching, and mm -hmm. they just yeah. run away. Run away. The, All right. The stars. The, yeah, the, yeah. The brittle stars. Like I said, the fainting goats. Is this okay, Rob? That we're going down this yeah, cliff a little bit. Just a little yeah. bit. It's good to see yeah, these stars. So I mean, it's a really thick lava flow. I mean, this is it's so impressive. Yeah. I think what was partially making me cry with the Dumbo was um, Rob saying that it was a nice lava flow. <laughs> I think that really sent me. That was quite funny. To another dimension. <laughs> I'm sensitive like that. <laughs> um, question in the chat: Did you guys see any sea dandelions in this expedition so far? What is that? I don't know. Is that a real thing? I think. I Are they also cranglets? It is a it is a thing I think. It is oh, a thing. Oh, it, it's a it's like a spiky ball. Spiky ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a d d d it's a. Anyone want to help me out here? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a jelly. Can we zoom on this, the littlest Victor Gorgia? The siphonophore? Oh. Spiky jelly ball. It's a siphonophore? Siphonophore, yeah. Siphonophore? Oh, look at that thing. 
Is that a Victor Gorgia? Oh. I think it is. I don't know. A little know. tiny. Oh, yeah. bouncy. Sorry. Smallest one we've ever seen. It's a baby. It's only 400 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all wrapped up in teeny tiny brittle stars. Already. 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 Yeah. Oh, Start so them young. Baby right, brittle thank you, Dave. stars. Will They'll the brittle stars grow up with the coral? They'll be best friends forever. <laughs> Until the brittle stars die, leaving the coral alone. Or they fall <laughs> like scared goats. <laughs> um, and to answer your question, no, we have not seen any sea dandelions on this expedition so far. I don't think we've seen a siphonophore at all, have we? Uh, in the blue water, some. None that we gawked at, though. Ooh, there's a mushroom coral. You're yanking me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm just struggling to reach the edge of the wall, unfortunately. Roger. Bummer. Bummer. I guessed wrong again and took us too far <laughs> off the wall. Just so many wrong guesses. Yep. I mean, anytime if you want to get the watt set up to go up the slope. Yeah, once we finish this move, okay. we'll uh, start Perfect. moving towards the slope. So, Elias, once this is done, can we do 30 meters towards the next waypoint? Yes. Thank you. No, no, no. I thought he was talking to us. No, he's <laughs> doing a switch. No, not 30 <laughs> meters. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, I had my mic on. No, that's fine. <laughs> just I'm trying to uh, just teasing you. get Panos to we not do something. That's a lot. That's a lot. For one dive? That's a lot. Three uh, Dumbo Octos. Dumbo Octos. Yeah. I don't even think we can fit all the shrimp in the shrimp count in that area. <laughs> no. I'm going to have to tell Ashley to continue it on the... Let's get a bigger whiteboard. Get a bigger whiteboard. We're going to need a bigger whiteboard. <laughs> or just start writing higher up. Um. I'm just going to tell her to finish it off on the dive plan sheet that we ha I have in front of me because she's only going to be watching for two hours. Good idea. Although that, that watch really loves writing on the whiteboard. Like, I have a picture to show you of Jane putting a shrimp count on and Dwight's <laughs> face in the corner is just the happiest face I've ever <laughs> seen. Yes. I don't think he was happy because of the shrimp, but it looked like he was. <laughs> I mean, we have a little more room on the on the whiteboard. We could have a continued shrimp count under the octopus. We could. <laughs> They'll think that we've seen like 40 Dumbo octopuses. No. <laughs> <laughs> octopus army. I hope the next watch Don't sees an octopus because all the rest of us have. Do you mean two, two zero degrees? Maybe you can write the uh, whale fall out there. Yeah. <laughs> Just start messing with them. <laughs> Six gill shark. <laughs> Six whale fall. <laughs> They're just everywhere. We all got to run down and listen to the, in the lounge to see them catch that. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll Whale be there during the exchange, so we'll know. <laughs> board of lies. Yeah, now we have more than one board of lies. <laughs> we also found Atlantis. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say um, aqua squatches and mermaids. <laughs> aqua squatches. That's so silly. That's like, who do you think built Atlantis? Aqua squatches? Or yeah, mermaids? exactly. Aqua squatch. Is there more than one Aqua Squatch Rob, or is there just there one? There has to be. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, because you they would get Aquasquatch? lonely. How else would you get other Aqua Squatches? Come well, on. Well, isn't there only one Bigfoot? What? There's <laughs> Yeti, the cousins. Wait, why do you say what like that, Annabelle? I, feel I, like that's I a always very assume there were multiple Bigfoot. Same. Well, I'm not from an area where like Bigfoot is prevalent, so. Where do you live? Pennsylvania. Maybe oh, there's yeah, only there. one we, we Bigfoot have the, in Philly. Like, 
there's some there is cryptids in, Phil, in uh, Pennsylvania, but the biggest one around me is the Jersey Devil and the Pine Barrens. What's a cryptid? It's like Folklore. a mythical creature. Yeah, sort like of? a monster, but not a monster. Bigfoots and, it, and Mothmans and Nessies and yeah. things. Yeah, okay. and it usually has like so strong lore backstory to it. That's why you don't go wandering in the Appalachian. Th does Canada not have cryptids? Oh, Bigfoot's all up there, too. Yeah. yeah. We got the Ogopogo. <coughs> yep. Ooh. The Pogo? Ogopogo. Oh, Ogopogo. <laughs> um, chat really wants us to um, say that chimeras are closely related to sharks and stingrays. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Yes, they either... They I actually did know that. Also, uh, me. They are um, a lot um, related with them, but they are like the sister lineage mm -hmm. of all the rest of the sharks and skates and all mm -hmm. this group of animals. Are we doing a like? I'm getting Move the ship towards the cliff maneuver is what we're doing now. Right. And it's a that's, very that's ancient. Good to know. Uh, yeah, but we're only going 30 meters and it's 40 like away. Old so Roger. Yeah, yeah. We shrunk the shrunk the step size down, so even if we do a shift change or something, we're still not going to bonk it. Roger, but, roger. Yeah. And the sharks refuse to admit that they're related. Why? Uh, they kind of look down on the Camara. I could I could kind of see why. I feel like sharks are a bit more like fierce looking yeah, than Camaras. That Camara seemed really chill. Well, they're a little arrogant, the sharks are. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if you're about to set yourself up for your own joke yeah, or not, and I'm trying I'm to see waiting. where it's going, but I can't get there. <laughs> Aren't they called chimeras because the lateral line, like, goes into, like, different things on their face? Or, like, they have, like, a bunch of, like, lateral line, like, sections on their nose. What does that have to do with the name? Yeah, what is it? Because it looks like they're like stitched together out of pieces because oh. of all those lines. And I'm still on making the link. Sorry. A chimera in like I don't know, not lore, but like lore sense is a like a creature that's stitched together from other creatures, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. just oh, thinking about it? Full Metal okay. Alchemist and like the whole chimera thing. Yeah, that yeah. That's that's really sad. Um, <laughs> huh. I was thinking like the ancient Greek one where it's like there's like a lion head and a dragon head and a goat head and a, and a snake tail and, and wings and all that. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Ratfish don't look like that though. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> it would be wild if we found that. A, a ratfish chimera? A ratfish chimera. A ratfish chimera with a chimera? Like an ocean chimera? What would that be? Like a shark, an octopus? I guess this um, aqua squatch would kind of be like a chimera. Ooh. And yeah, a shark, an octopus, and an aqua squatch all together. One magnificent creature. Come on, Atlanta. Let's go towards the wall. Um, <laughs> chat says, oh my god, the nerd levels are increasing again. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you too, chat. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no! no. <laughs> All right. Starting to get just the tiniest bit of Atalanta movement. Look at this lovely sponge. Is that a beautiful Walteria? I always want to call it Wisteria. <laughs> Can we zoom in on the Shrimp. Walteria, please? There's so many crinoids on there. They're always the same color. They really like these Walterias. Yeah, they sure do. I guess maybe it's good grip. You know, lots of good holes mm. to grip their little yeah. legs in. That what makes are, sense. Are they called legs? What are they actually called? <coughs> I don't know. They got the two different styles. They got the ones with the yeah. fluffies on them. The, the bottom ones. What are those called? Yeah. Oh, you're muted, Paul. 
come wide, please? I say that into the mic as if... Oh, yeah, you can hear me. You're yeah, muted. Not sorry. Me. <laughs> oh, what are they called? I'm not sure, but I'll look it for you. A shrimp. Hold fast. A hold fast. How far are we from waypoint nine now? We are about seven hundred meters, seven zero zero meters. Thank you. All right, I'm coming up. Roger. Moving Delta with you. Okay. Oh, I do have like the the actual word for the the hold fast things. Um, Let's do another Siri. Uh, C I R R I. Siri. Oh, and this made from cereals. <laughs> Siri. Is it pronounced Siri? I'm Siri. sorry guys, I can't read very well. Siri. Yeah. How would you Please pronounce it? Yeah. Siri, Siri, right? Siri, yeah. Same, same. I don't trust pronunciation in biology at all. Well, yeah, thanks. Can we zoom on this thing? Is this a cucumber or is this a sponge? Go ahead, Dave. A Tiny glass sponge, oh. a black telly. Oh, baby. Ah, stay in the box. It's a, it's a bustling community up here. Yeah. Sure is, but yeah. I'm surprised that um, we haven't seen so many sponge or right, thank you. black corals, right? It's very rich, a lot of fishes. So many crinoids uh, here. And crinoids, oh, stalk uh, crinoids. Chat fact, Siri, <laughs> AKA witch fingers. What? Witch fingers. I like that. Never heard it before, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Is that a chat fact or a chat opinion? It's a chat fact. Chat fact. It, there was two chats that put it in. I don't know if it was the same person. I don't think it was the same person. Might've been. Who knows? <laughs> so can we take away from this that the crinoids are some form of witch? Mm. Sure. Or at least have witch fingers. Witch fingers? Which fingers are they? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. They can't <laughs> all be gems. Those oh, look fingers. at that. Rock. <coughs> I liked that rock. It's a nice little sheet blow. Mm -hmm. mm. Great shot I heard right now. Thank you. I didn't want to say anything because I knew the camera or whatever would run away the minute I said something. You can even <laughs> say hi. Hi. Oh, no, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Aww. <laughs> Is this a black coral? Good question. Could we zoom? Yes, we can now. Go ahead, please. Is that a... Yeah. What's on it? Is it? With a That's squat? A, a squat? Nice. Yeah. Is that, uh, there was something on the other branch too at the top. It's another one. It's oh, yeah. the, oh, the couple. Oh. Ah, cool. <laughs> Squats. The, the, um, Double squat. The black corals could be maybe Sibopathes. 
and we have collected these thank you Dave. this in the previous watch thank you we have a, a gen z in the chat they say the community is sure is bussin 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 no cap no cap no cap <laughs> It's a shout out for all the other Zoomers out there. What are you kids talking about? <laughs> I was born on the cusp, so like I sometimes identify with Gen Z, sometimes I don't. What year? 97. Ah. Which is debatable. I say it's on the cusp. I thought 94 was the cutoff. Like I said, really? it's debatable, but I think it's 97. 94 is Gen Z? No, 94 is millennial, okay. but I thought it was the last. It's that little critter on the, is that a crinoid? On the big stalk? Yeah. Big stalk. Uh, the other way, the left way. Left big stalk. Oh, you folks in your cinema cam. <laughs> oh, oh, falling star. <laughs> Make a wish. It's very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I think that's just another big star on the oh. stalk. Tall bamboo, a single stock. Coming up on Delta. What is growing right, here? Good. Can can we check? I'm yeah. curious. On oh, the yeah. stem of that other one. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can check that. Might take a moment, but I'll get over there. Let's go this way. Sorry? This vessel is about to be completed, so... Yeah, let's hold position after they finish. <laughs> right, yeah. good for watch change. Uh, okay, please zoom. I think it's a crinoid. Crinoid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. It's a crinoid, different species. Yeah. Good eye, though. I didn't see it. <coughs> Thank you, come away. Thanks. Well, that was a great job for tonight, front row. Really Thanks. good stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for indulging me in some of my requests. <laughs> Your requests to go in, in caves. In caves, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing when you lit that cave up from the inside. It's not responsible. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. It's in the name of exploration. Yeah. In the name of exploration. Hello. In the name of exploration. Light up the canyon in the name of exploration. <laughs> Have I left any booby traps? No. All right, chat. All right, world. Um, we're about to change watches. This has been the 8-12. We've had a great time. We had a very good dive. Uh, the the next watch will be uh, making their work. Well, okay, let's back up. We are currently at a depth of 1,434 meters, and the next watch will be spending the next two to three hours making their way to the peak of the seamount, which is at uh, about 1,300 meters. Um, and that's about it, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Hi. Okay, so... So...
Greetings, everyone. This is Ashley Glickley, Science Communication Fellow and teacher from Louisville, Kentucky. We are going through a watch change right now, but we are finishing up a dive on the, um, an isolated seamount just southwest of the Johnson Atoll Exclusive Economic Zone. I've heard that this has been a very exciting dive so far, so we're excited to see what's next. If you just give us a couple minutes, we're going to go ahead and post some status updates and get everybody comfortable before we introduce ourselves. Thank you. Wait, did you want to go ahead and start the introductions? <coughs> All right. 12 to 4. Everyone here? <laughs> we are here. Everybody here. All right. Sure. <laughs> so we are going to uh, head up this little mound. How's that sound? Sounds great. Waypoint nine, baby. Weren't we just at waypoint three? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get the ship underway here. And uh, yeah, I'm the watch leader, Dwight Coleman, University of Rhode Island, and also the expedition leader. And uh, I'm a marine geologist. Thank you, Dwight. Jane, you ready? Sure. Hi, I'm Jane Carrick. I am a PhD student at the University of Rhode Island. I am the data logger for this watch, and I will be taking note of all of our sample collections and all of our sites along the way. Awesome, thank you. We have one more special guest on the back row in the science team. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, here's Haisa Hogan. I am oceanographer. I'm part of the science team. Um, and I am in this expedition as part of the Taxonomist Network of Ocean Sensors. All right, let's pass it to the front. Panos? Hello, my name is Panos Lurotos. I'm uh, the video engineer for, the, for this watch, the 12 to 4. And continuing to the right, if you're ready. Uh, good morning, good evening, good whatever time. Uh, my name is Michael Valle. I'm a physics PhD student at the uh, University of California, Los Angeles. I'm not UCLA. I want to say that. How about that? I'm the uh, Atlanta co-pilot, and uh, I'll be doing anything that uh, the Herc pilot can't or doesn't want to do. Thank you very much. You're not on. There we go. Now you'll be able to hear me. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, my name is James. I'm the lucky one who gets to operate the robot. I'm the Herc pilot. Hey everybody, I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator. <coughs> all right, I think that's all of us. Cool. Just getting uh, set up here. Um, I underestimated the current and the amount of uh, kind of crab walking we were doing there for a little bit. So I'm coming back towards Atlanta, and then we'll continue up the hill. Sixty-five. 
Sounds good. Hi, Asa, are these sea pens? You can zoom in, Vamos, if you like. Hello, yes, is two of the genus Bautzina. They're quite a big colonies here. Amazing. Is possible to zoom a little bit more? Yeah. And hi, so maybe you could spell that name for me since I'm less familiar with C pens, please. It's a B A L T I C I N A. Thank you much. No worries. So about Cena, they their polyps are organized and raised in polyp reeds. We if you zoom a little bit more, maybe we'll be able to see. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'll change the... <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we looking for? No, we're just checking the polyp and here that is the structures that the polyp is organizing in uh, rows, in a um, raising ridge that is really um, st structures with um, sclerites. Uh, oh. uh, this is the tip you can see better. So it's just the way um, these species are the polyps are, are organizing these species. Seems like they have a little kink at the end of their plume, just like Siamese cattails. Seems like no one else knows what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> I do know what you're talking about. I love cattails. <laughs> just too tired to respond. Yeah. <laughs> it just took All me right. a second. Oh, like the coffee hasn't kicked in. Oh, I have plenty of photos oh, okay. from the Zoom, so. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, you said they're saying in the chat that there's spines on each row of polyps. Is that? It's not a spine, it's actually. It's, um, it's a hard structure made by sclerites. Oh. It's a tiny, tiny um, structures, like um, how we, we describe each. Um, but yeah, it'd be very hard. Um, calcium carbonate structures that in this species form these ridges and where the pulps rise. Thank you, that makes sense. Hey Lynette, how far away is waypoint nine? Roughly? A couple hundred meters. Uh, stand by. Uh, waypoint nine, 226 meters. Oh, sorry, 606 meters. Oh, is it that far? Yeah. yeah the bearing, yeah, at bearing 226? Bearing 226. Okay. <coughs> and how are we doing for sample space? We're low on sample space. We have maybe some spots for some bio. I think we're all done on the rocks, though. Um, we could put a few bio in some small starboard bio boxes on top of rocks. Okay. Um, FYI, the last watch mentioned to me, this is for uh, anybody operating the, the bio boxes, um, that there's a bathopathies of black coral in bio box E that could potentially float out if thrusters are on. Copy. Yeah, Trevor uh, passed that on to us as okay, well. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh. Halosaur? Fish. Want to zoom in? Uh, how, how is... Whoa, swim backwards, why don't you? Oops. <laughs> it swims into the rock. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. beautiful right. shots from Is their the vision that labs. bad, do you think, that they what do we got here? swim right into the rocks? Uh, 
They're just probably not used to bright lights shining in their faces. True. Yeah, you get you know that feeling you get when you look into the sun. <laughs> no. Not that you should do that. So I don't recommend it. Or or like twenty screens at three in the morning. <laughs> this view we can see loads of crinoids tons of crinoids this is more, yeah. more crinoids than we've seen on any other dive i feel yes definitely this is the crinoid city <laughs> crinoid city i crinoid like the name for this city. <laughs> guys all we have to make up for is three dumbo octopuses and one uh, chimera to beat out the other watches fyi all right i think we can do it well, okay so we're going to need to see like 200,000 shrimp. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do have a shrimp count. It's, or it's one pretty Atlantis. High right now. <laughs> or one, one Atlantis. Atlantis. Yeah. Maybe Lots. start crinoids and then we can. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really Crinoid <laughs> count. <laughs> I There's think sea pens would be uh, another one. <laughs> yeah. So here we can see two different types of crinoids. One that uh, is stalked. Um, I think was already identified for this region, so it's called Proisocrinus huberinus. Oh, large sea pen. We have huge sea pen. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, so pretty. Mitch starts counting sea pens as well. So this will be the same as we saw uh, the other two colonies we s we saw have seen a little bit back. So you'll be about Sina. About Sina jeans. Oh, beautiful. It's nice in the uh, Cyclops camera. Yeah, that's the one I've been looking at mostly, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's so satisfying. Yeah. And try to come back up to the top. Focus is a little bit hard because we need to be manually but I think that's that same octocoral we just saw a minute ago right it is the same uh, species is there another one? so yeah I guess sea pens technically are considered octocorals now after the revision is that right it is yeah cool um, I was is part of um, that's a cute little hoop or I guess maybe they were octocorals before, but they're considered gorgonians? No, they always, the difference, what's happened with the classification of sea pens before they are one of the three orders. So before the revision was Oceanacea, uh, Penetulacea, mm -hmm. and the blue coral. And now we have two orders, uh, Esclera Oceanacea, and uh, which um, sea pens is part, so sea pens no longer um, our, um, order, but as a super family. Malacalcyonacea was the other family, right? No, it's Maca, Macala, M Malacalcyonacea, Malacalcyonacea. <laughs> and Sclerocalcyonacea. Yeah, one, because the reason I know, that, remember this, is because Malacal, Mal Malacal means soft. And sclera means hard, if I think. Is that right? Um, come wide, please. Mm, so, oh, so, yeah, yeah. It means what, like, is, is a bit mixed inside okay. the, the orders. So that's, that sea pen looks like someone um, is missing few no, polyps like in the middle. Do you want to just go back and see that again? I uh, know you can, you can, uh, I don't know how much time we we have so i don't want to spend all my time at the beginning <laughs> use yeah, your time sure wisely <laughs> uh, yeah. i've kind of been calculating that we need about if it's 600 meters to the summit that'll take us mm, maybe two hours if we stop and zoom and we have three hours so we have plenty of time mm -hmm. so you can zoom at what into zoom in there it looks like there's a lot on this uh <laughs> you get five seconds per zoom 
<laughs> oh, is that a paragorgia yeah, behind I'd it? Yeah, I'd say so. Looks like a paragorgia. And a primnoid in the foreground? I'm trying to check wow. if we always... There's a lot going I on. Ask, uh, I try to see if there is any branch nodes, uh, but looks like primnoid. I don't see any nodes. But sometimes it's not possible to see as well, so it can be a bit tricky to identify. But I'm amused by the amount of Bridge stars. Yeah, there's it's pretty of amazing. <laughs> Look, can we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> there's too many arms and legs, I think. I think there's 18 on that one primnoid. Wow. At least. And like, you know, it's less than 30 centimeters wide. Could that damage the coral with that many on there? Could certainly cover the polyps that yeah, need to feed. Yeah. Well, what I would understand is that they're not predator predatory, right. but we, we don't know really what to be the best um, way to describe their association so far. Uh, with um, yes. sea stars, like then we know they really. Uh, predating the in the polyps, but for the Br the bridge star, we're still not sure. Cool Ar uh, Atlanta shot. Oh wow! It looks like a brain. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. <laughs> That's amazing. Can we come wide, please? Yeah. That's perfect thing for the zoom. The ship just so jumped yeah, past us here, so we're going to scoot up a few 